I'm Shay Pal. I'm in 10th grade. Uh, my ability to use Schoology school, this year is a lot better than last year because last year it was still kind of new to us and being at home it wasn't, and you know, we weren't learning it. But this year it's a lot easier, a lot able to able to navigate it pretty well because you know we haven't been at home that much this year, so it's, it's pretty easy. I think we're learning more this year compared to last year because last year we spent 90% of our time at, at our house and we couldn't really teach ourselves how to do it, but this year we spent pretty much all the time in school and we've been able to learn the material and sit down and talk about it. And it's just a better way for students to learn. Not many people are uh, failing. I think the school schedules really messed with the kids because they were having to think about not going to school and being on time. So like, look at school as this day, then they were focused on going to school the next day, and then Friday not having school at all. And it was just a lot thrown on the kids. The grades this year are like 10 times better than they were last year because last year, well, I had a bunch of stuff going on. I was constantly quarantined and stuck at home every every week. And uh, so didn't really, I didn't really, you know, have the motivation to push myself. So they weren't that great. They're, you know, B, C, but most, mostly like D's on the F side. But this year with me being in school and actually being in the classroom, it helped a lot. And like now my grades are, you know, A, A, B, and occasional C. My name's Bradley Hopkins. I'm in 10th grade. Last year, I barely learned anything about math and all the other subjects. This year, I'm learning stuff I should have learned last year, and it's helped me a lot. Last year, teachers relied so much on Schoology, it was unreal, but this year they're relying on paperwork and actually trying to teach their students how to do the work in class, and it's been a lot better. Last, last year, with them two days a week stuff, it was pretty hard, because you got to school, learn, hang out with friends and stuff, and it was just, it was just miserable trying to do two days of school, not learning anything and trying to do it online. It was just not worth it. Since last year, my grades went from straight F's and D's to straight A's and B's, and uh, now I'm pretty, pretty grateful now. Well, at ACT, we didn't have like an actual teacher. It was just like someone who assigned us work, and the work was like 10 questions a day, and it was just, you know, like simple math. You know, it just felt like different. Being social again, you know, because at ACT, you just seem like the same people every single day and being able to go to the football games and stuff. And my close friends go here and they've got ACT, so, you know, it was exciting to see them a lot. See, we've all sounded at all the right. last couple of years. Yeah. Like I can, the teachers actually show me stuff that I can do. And it's just not like work that I have to do by myself. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, so, all. you in the house, this is Grim here, Mr. Clay. Never know. Okay, I am Debbie for this year, I think is far better than last year. We, you know, learning as we went along last year. Last year, the blended schedule affecting socialization and learning, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, it, it was a lot harder for teachers, for students, for everybody. And also the grades in my classes, I think have gone up this year by everybody being back more. Hi, I'm Sean Hawkins, principal at Independence High School. From February, late February on, when students were released to be at home and on remote learning, it was total chaos. As far as students, just not being able to see them and not knowing if they were okay. Did they have the food they needed? Did they have shelter? Were they actually having an opportunity to log on and participate in classes? Lots of calls were made to parents just to verify that everyone was okay. Um, teachers and I would use Fridays um, as an opportunity to drive all through our district from Rodale on one end to Wyoming County on the other and uh, deliver packets to students who did not have special um, access to the internet. And then that way they could still work on their materials and we would pick those up the following week. Uh, teachers, it was very difficult for them to be used to a one-on-one -on -one for a classroom teacher situation um, to be able to perform their lessons on Schoology as well as post the equivalent of their lessons plans and opportunities and making sure that students IEPs were met 504 plans and all of the individual unique learning we typically do was a huge challenge